Hi, in today's video I wanted to talk about routines and to be more specific about creating a routine. So if you're interested in learning how to build a routine that you will actually want to stick to, this video is for you. Let's start off by the definition of a routine itself. Routine is a sequence of habits that we do on autopilot that can either serve us or cause damage, usually without us even knowing. Everything you repeatedly do shapes your experiences now, but also the future that is yet to come. That's why having good routines is so important. Routines as in many. <laughs> you can have a morning routine, a wind down routine, a night routine, a work routine, a sequence that gets you to the gym, or a ritual that ends your work for the day, especially if you're working from home. Very often we do those things on autopilot, and that is an ultimate goal when creating a new routine. Things we don't have to think about or force ourselves to do are the things we do and don't question doing them. If you have a sequence of good habits that you repeatedly do on autopilot without any mental energy needed to force yourself to do that, it's the best situation ever. I'm gonna focus on morning routine here because I feel like it's the most universal one because we all get up every single day at some point. So morning routine, let's talk about that. First thing we all have to agree with is that we are all different people. There are people who love mornings. There are people who are the best version of themselves in the mornings. There are people who wake up at 5 a.m. every single day and they love it. And I envy that because it takes me a few hours and at least one cup of coffee to get to a similar state of mind. But I've grown to accept how I am and who I am. And I want the same for you. The rule of thumb is that you can decide what you do, but you can't really decide what you like. Sometimes, more often than not, we have to trick ourselves into doing the things that we know we will benefit from, even though they're not necessarily our favorite things. But they can be, and we're gonna get to that. Think about what isn't working in your morning routine, because whether you like to admit it or not, you have some kind of a morning routine. Even if it's hitting snooze 20 times, rushing to brush your teeth, and then doing your makeup in your car. So how do you actually build a routine that sticks. What I want you to ask yourself is how do I want to feel going into my day or going into my work or going into my workouts? Do you want to feel energized? Do you want to feel productive? Do you want to feel happy, grounded, calm? It all depends on your personality and the things you're dealing on a daily basis. For me, the most important thing is to feel productive. I've made a mistake so many times of starting my day by watching some kind of show that I was binge watching on Netflix. It just gets me in that state of mind that I will just not get to work that day. And on the days that I go to uni, uh, so I knew I wanted to feel productive in the morning. And now what makes me feel productive? That's usually just making myself a cup of coffee, sitting in front of my laptop and working as long as I drink my coffee. So I've been doing that for a while and I decided that there are some other things missing. So ultimately my list right now, list, or my list of feelings I want to feel, <laughs> what is alive and awake, happy and grounded and focused and productive. And every single morning I go through those three things, doing the things that make me feel that way. So obviously I have lists of things that I can do that make me feel that way because different actions can cause same results. So for alive and awake, that is doing yoga, eating healthy breakfast, and walks to the grocery store before I eat that healthy breakfast. For happy and grounded, listing the things I appreciate, meditation, journaling, and practicing Course in Miracles. And for focused and productive, that is making myself a cup of coffee and working on my laptop as long as I drink that coffee. And that's usually writing for me, so I just type and drink my coffee. Yes, that doesn't mean that I do all of those things every single day. But if I have, let's say, three hours in the morning to do that, I can do that. If I have just one hour, I will just pick pieces from those different categories just to make myself feel that way. I don't think it's necessary to do the same things every single day unless you have a goal that you're working on. The goal of a morning routine is to start your day on a right foot. And that's why I think that focusing on the emotions and feelings is way more important than on the checklist of all the things you want to do. Because when you start treating your routines as chores, they become unpleasant. It's the way you look at them that matters. My advice is to start small just the way I did it. So first things first, I was only working in the morning. And then I build it up to the point where I can do multiple things. Don't listen to set in stone advice that you should wake up at 5 a.m., meditate for 30 minutes, go on a run, then hit the gym and then come back and do some yoga and then drink a green smoothie. No, I mean, there is nothing wrong with all of those things, but doing them just because someone said so 
is not intentional living. If those things have a meaning to you, they're genuinely important to you, then awesome, do it. But doing something mindlessly is a waste of your time. There is no one recipe for success and there are so many people making so much money from telling other people that there is such thing. And that's bullshit. The next thing I want to talk about is consistency. It is a major factor of building a routine because routine is a sequence of habits that you do on a regular basis, right? So what I think is so amazing about setting your routine that way is that if those things make you feel the way you want to feel, you will want to do them because you will feel good about doing them. And of course, whatever habit we're trying to build, even if these are things we like, we always struggle a little bit. Picking the thing I feel like doing today from the different categories is so cool because it brings that novelty and that way it is a routine but it's also like not a routine, you know? It's not boring routine. I also feel like night owls are falsely accused of not giving a shit and being lazy and unproductive. I don't I don't agree with that. I was a night owl for the majority of my life and right now I'm just trying something new and I'm actually enjoying it to be honest. Like actually getting sleep at night? I love it. So we can create as many routines as you only want. If I can uh, suggest something, these are meant to be there for guidance and not for you to find reasons to hate yourself and not some sense of punishment or self-worth measurement system. No. The fact that you want to put in effort is already so good. I feel like majority of people don't want to put that effort in. And there is no need for punishing yourself or feeling bad about it when you are just trying to do something more and it like didn't work one time. Think about still being ahead because of the intentions that you have. And you should be okay. Share your new routines down in the comments down below. Share the feelings you want to feel every single day and let me know how's it going. I love you more than I love coffee. I appreciate you guys so much. And life is a story, so make it a good one. Bye guys.